Hello, in this video, I'm going to show you how to use cache in lang chain whenever you're calling a model or doing some LLM related things. Caching not only improves the speed, but also reduces the cost of API calls to the LLMs. So now let's get right into it. In this example, what I'll be doing, I'll be loading a website URL into LangChain and then we will use LLMs caching in the LangChain to see how much time does it take. Okay, the first thing we need to do is to install some prerequisites with the pip command. So let me do it. And for this tutorial, I am using AWS SageMaker notebook with G4 XTN instance. Okay, so now let's wait for these prerequisites to get installed. It doesn't take too long. So I'm just waiting for it to finish. Okay, so all of these four have uh, finished installing. Now the next step is to import some of the libraries which we'll be using. So I have just imported these. And again, it takes a bit of a time sometimes, so which is fine. We'll just wait for it to finish. Next step is to set our open AI API key, API key and this dot and nb and dot load dot env is used to load this into our environment and you can get your free open ai ap api key from open ai's website okay the next step we need to do is to again load some of or import some of the lang chains packages um, this web based loader package is used to import the url which we will be using and then open a object will be get from this and also this callback is to note down some of the timings. Um, I'm not going to use it in this example as such, but uh, maybe we'll just make one use later on. And then you need to use this in memory cache, which will be performing the caching structure. It's very quick. Next, we, will need, we need to initialize the cache with this command. Uh, LLM cache is equal to in memory cache function I'm calling. That's done. Now I need to specify what exactly I want to load in LangChain. So I'm just speci specifying a URL to my own blog with this web based loader. Click here, it takes a bit of a time, but not that much to load it. Okay, so now we have loaded everything which we needed, and now it's time to run our code to fetch it. So in this one, as you can see, I'm just in this block, I'm starting the time, I'm loading the uh, this URL and it will load it and put it in our documents in this um, LangChain and then I'm just printing the first page or first document and only 100 lines plus the metadata associated with it. So let's run it. Okay, so as you can see it has run it this it has printed this then if you come down it has loaded into that and then it has also given me the metadata around it okay so one thing it hasn't done so far it hasn't displayed the time okay okay in order to display the time we will be using this command the time taken it has taken around 1.69 seconds so this is the first time initialization for cache let's see what it does when i run it the second time and this time I'm going to, uh, I'll be using the same code like this. And I have just put in the time taken in this block so to make things easier. So let me run it again. As you can see, it is way faster, almost half. Uh, earlier, it gave me the time 1.69 seconds here. And this time, the time is under you know one second which is 0.98 seconds so this is how the caching improves your speed of data fetching and working with llms but it also reduces your api calls and while working with open ai api calls i have seen that this caching can save you a lot of money if you are using it in production environment where you don't have to make the same calls again and again if you're fetching the same data I hope that you found it interesting. If you have any 
feedback please put it in the comment section and if you like this please consider subscribing to the channel thank you very much